The yard sale criminal. So here you go. I am the original, you guys. Yeah. And you know what? After I stood up for my rights, the amount of support that I got from the community, from you, kept me going and telling me that I was doing the right thing. I appreciate and thank God that I am living in North Idaho with all of you to support me. I was told that I had a misdemeanor for having a yard sale, which is really funny because I knew the corona was going on. I'm a very kind person. And I said to myself, well, I'm just going to ask and make sure that it's okay to have a yard sale. I called my police department. And they said, go ahead. Make sure you are six feet apart. Be, be polite to everyone's space. Have your yard sale. I said, my father-in-law passed away. There's a shit ton of yard, yard sale stuff. He has a nine storage units I had to go through. I knew that the corona was uh, just starting. In my hand is my citation I got. A week later, they came and they said, you guys, you disobeyed me, you disobeyed the law. You disobeyed everything. And I said, you know what's so funny is I called and I asked and I made sure that I was okay. I, I wanted to make sure that I was okay before I did this. And you all said, yes. And then I get cited with this. And you know what this says? Krista Thompson, failure to isolate. I was at my house, girls and boys. I was isolated. Why don't you cite everyone that came to my yard sale? Which I did not even say to anybody that I was having a yard sale. People just saw it from the road. I can't help my location was perfect for a yard sale. It was just right there across from me. Come see me. So I, I, I got this I got this misdemeanor. Today was my first day in court. I went to court today. And the judge looked at me and he said, well, you have a lawyer representing you. He's doing the whole Zoom thing. Uh, he's coming in from Zoom. We are so excited to, that, that, that you're here, number one. Um, number two, we're going to push this out and we're going to have a court date hearing with you and your lawyer with a judge and jury. He thought I was going to step in and say, no, just drop the whole thing real quick. I said, yes, sir, do it. I am ready. So we have a scheduled date coming up. I find out tomorrow when that is. He said, you don't have any supporters here with you today. I said, you know what? All my supporters are on Sherman in second. You can come down whenever you want to. And the reason I said that is because we are all here for the common good. We are all here because we have a choice. We had a choice. It's a hot summer, nice night, right? We get off work. We're tired. We want to go home. We want to rest. We want dinner on the table. We want to do our laundry that we haven't kept up with for the last forever. But you know what? We choose not to. Because you know what? We know what's important to us right now. If we do not take a stand right now today and let everyone know where we stand, what is my kid going to think of me? What is my kid going to think of me? Where am I going to stand in the future? Where are you going to stand in the future? If you don't have kids, your parents need to be proud of you. Why don't you prove to them that you have something to prove? Whatever we do now will echo through eternity. Yeah. Yeah. Let's make the stand and be who we want to be today so we can echo through eternity and let our children know. Yeah. You know what? During that time in 2020, my parents stood up. My parents said, this is enough. Yeah. We will not wear your fucking mask. community and yes we are small they say do not gather they want to separate us 
They say isolate. Why do they tell us to isolate? Why do you think they tell us to isolate? Let's divide everybody. Let's obey God. Let's bring America back together again. I have six kids. I am, you know, I'm the I'm the perfect candidate for saying, I just go with the flow. I gotta make sure dinner's on the table and I gotta make sure my kids get happy. My husband's happy. He's working, you know, the American dream. That man works 70 plus hours a week. And I know most of you do as well, in one way or another. The American dream is not free. The American dream is not cheap. But we are gonna pay for it because you know what? We believe in it. Let's stand together. Let's be true to each other. We have a choice. Let's make this voice that we have right now. Silence is the detriment. You know what's secure? Let's stand up for our rights today. You and I together, we unite ourselves and we say, you know what, your your whole rules on all of this stuff that doesn't make any sense because it's a politician thing that is way bigger than any of us. We're gonna stand up and we are gonna tell you right now that this is wrong and we are here to prove that it's wrong. Right now. You guys inspire me so much. You know, I got things to do. I have a baby probably crying for the boob right now. But you know what? My husband is at home taking care of that baby. You guys have things to do, but you are here because I know that we need to secure their future. Let's secure it. And we can't do that unless we unite and work together. And what we do right now, like I said, you guys will echo through eternity. And let's let it echo through our kids' future and say, you know, my parents stood when they needed to stand. They didn't sit down. They didn't say, yes, I'm going to wear the mask. They said, I'm going to put up a fight because that's the thing that we need to do. That's right.